Legends, welcome back to part 11. Uh, this video might help preserve your sanity. Um, I want to talk about audio and video skimming. Generally, I always have, I always have uh, video skimming on. It's this little icon over here. You can click it on or off. What that means is we've got our clips up here. We've got it on right now. We can drag this and see what's going on right over here. If you take this off, it stays stagnant just like that. So I like to have this on. I like to see it blown up and see where I'm at in terms of what I want to keep and what I want to discard or get rid of. Um, so that's video scheming, skimming. The audio skimming can actually drive you crazy. What I'm talking about is the one right next to it, right here, just like that. So that one's you go across this. I don't know how well I'm talking into a USB microphone right now and my computer speakers are kind of far away. But if I scroll through this, it's going to pick up all the audio and it's going to be either very fast forward or it's going to be very uh, fast going backwards. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. So I'm scrolling to the left and the right and it's picking up all of the audio. And as fast as you do it, that's as fast as the audio is going to get outputted. Uh, there's my there's our Metroid. Not that I don't love the audio for all three of these games, uh, but when I'm editing and I'm trying to concentrate and I'm focusing, I don't want all this choppy audio going back and forth. So what I like to do is I like to have video skimming on always. Uh, I'd be very surprised if anybody or some people out there had this clicked off. But for audio, yeah, I'm pretty much always going to have that off. So that is video skimming and audio skimming. Good luck with that. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck. And I'll see you guys in the next video.